and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Gulloom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Ali bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, today received a telephone call from the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Ghait, in which he expressed strong condemnation of the terrorist explosion that occurred in the East Acre area of Bahrain, killing a woman and injuring three children. The Arab League Secretary General affirmed that this terrorist crime was alien to all human values and principles, as well as to all Islamic teachings, stressing the Arab League's absolute solidarity and strong support for the Kingdom of Bahrain in whatever measures it takes under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to eliminate all forms and sorts of extremism, violence and terrorism and to confront anyone trying to damage the Kingdom's stability or harm the unity of its national fabric. He utterly rejected all forms of interference in Bahrain's internal affairs, praying to God Almighty to protect the kingdom from all evil and to bless it with continued security, stability and welfare. For his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs appreciated the Arab League General Secretary's supportive stance. He also wished Mr Al Ghait success in his mission and voiced confidence in his ability to bring about a new turn in the Pan-Arab Cooperation March and to strengthen the Arab League and enable it to adapt to the requirements of the current phase and the challenges of the future. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs announced that a moon sighting panel will convene at the council premises on Monday evening, the 29th of Ramadan, which corresponds to the 4th of July, to receive testimonies and news regarding the sighting of the crescent moon of Shawal, signalling the advent of Eid al-Fitr. The council urged anyone sighting the crescent moon of the month of Shawal to report such information to the panel. On the occasion, the council wished His Majesty the King, their Royal Highnesses the Prime Minister and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, members of the Royal Family and the people of Bahrain and Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns.